Добро пожаловать! Welcome to the Naldic ICT and EAL vodcasts. In this 10 part series, you will learn practical approaches to using ICT to support learners of English as an additional language. Welcome to Program 1 of the Naldic ICT and EAL vodcasts, using Google Earth. Google Earth is a free mapping tool that has many possible uses for supporting EAL pupils, particularly those newly arrived to the country. Use of Google Earth requires careful planning and it's usually a good idea to pair EAL learners together so they can use exploratory talk to engage with the task. Once installed, Google Earth is really easy to use. Let's look at some of the main features. Google Earth can find places in many different ways. Type a country or town or even a postcode here. Places you have visited are stored here and can be accessed at a later time. This panel allows a user to lay different types of data onto the map. These are the main tools for moving around in Google Earth. You can zoom in and out, pan left and right, tilt up and down and even rotate the map. This is an extra set of tools which we will come on to later. Most new arrival pupils will be only too willing to talk about where they have come from and this can be a really useful strategy to encourage learners to begin talking. However, be aware that some students have had very traumatic backgrounds and this kind of activity just might not be appropriate for them. Perhaps a new arrival has recently come to the UK from Bangladesh. We can type select a region in Bangladesh into the search bar. When we click the magnifying glass, Google Earth sets off and zooms down to this part of the world. One way of moving the map is by left clicking and dragging the mouse in any particular direction. You can also zoom in using this tool or also double clicking and the map will center and zoom. You can pan the map left and right. You can also tilt the map up and down and also rotate it using this tool. One really cool feature are these little blue squares. When you click on them, they open up a photograph that was taken in that place. Students may recognize these places and be able to tell you more about them. Some students will really benefit from seeing where their country of origin is in relationship to the UK. Using a postcode you can zoom down onto the area where a student lives or perhaps a familiar place like their school. One of the best features of Google Earth is the ability to layer data onto the map. Here we have selected schools which appear as orange shapes in their correct place. You can click on these and get more information. Sometimes they even contain images. Showing other types of data like places of interest will help orientate new arrival students into what's on offer in their own locality. There are many other potential activities. Using the tools at the top, a user can create a named placemark. Students could identify important local places and create placemarks with a description and even a photograph. Students will need to talk about this task in the process developing vocabulary and repetitive language in a real context.
Google Earth can now link directly with Google Maps, so you can switch between satellite, terrain and map view. Why not get students to describe a journey? For example, how they would get from home to school. This way, they would develop directional language alongside repetitive phrases. Some students may not be particularly familiar with maps. Google Earth and Google Maps can help introduce ideas about, for example, compass directions and also scale. You can use the measuring tool to enable students to get an idea about the distances between places. Finally, why not use Google Earth and Google Maps to make quick resources? You can print any map directly from the programme. Also, being able to layer data onto maps means you can easily make different versions of the same map. This means you could make barrier games. With a barrier game, each student, for example, could have a different version of the same map and they have to ask each other questions in order to complete each of their own. This is a great speaking and listening activity.